during the Vietnam War. The U.S. used a large number of bombers for air raids. Few remember the B-57 because it was completely overshadowed by the B-52 Stratofortress. Ironically, the B-57s were originally brought to Vietnam to serve reconnaissance missions, not attack. It was not until Operation Rolling Thunder in 1964, the U.S. sent B-57 bombers to carry out air strikes against North Vietnam. After the Korean War, the United States Air Force searched for a jet-powered medium bomber to quickly replace the aging propeller-driven Douglas B-26 Invader. In March 1951, the U.S. Air Force contracted Martin to build the British Canberra under license in the United States, designation B-57 Canberra. The B-57 made its maiden flight in July 1953, and by the end of production in 1959, a total of 403 Canberras had been produced for the U.S. Air Force. The B-57B is a definitive production version of the Martin B-57 with an external length of 65 feet 6 inch, a height of 14 feet 10 inch, and a wingspan of 64 feet. It featured a fighter-style canopy and has a tandem cockpit that sees a pilot and a navigator. The empty weight is 27,090 pounds, and the maximum takeoff weight is 53,720 pounds. The B models brought about use of four underwing hard points, in addition to the internal bomb bay and relocation of the air brakes from the wings to the fuselage. Standard armament included eight 50 caliber M2 Browning heavy machine guns. The bomb bay held up to 4,500 pounds of ordnance, while the four external hard points managed up to 2,800 pounds of ordnance. The underwing hard points also support the launching of unguided rockets. As a tactical bomber and reconnaissance aircraft, the B-57 was powered by two Wright J-65W fire turbojets with 7,220 pounds thrust H. It can achieve a top speed of 598 miles per hour, a range of 950 miles, a service ceiling of 45,100 feet, and a rate of climb of 6,180 feet per minute. Although intended as a bomber and never before deployed by the U.S. Air Force to a combat zone, the first B-57s to be deployed to South Vietnam were not operated in offensive floor. The need for additional reconnaissance assets, especially those capable of operating at night. Dedicated versions were produced and served as high altitude area reconnaissance platforms, the Martin RB 57D Canberra, and as electronic warfare aircraft. The B 57 Canberra was also shown to export customers abroad. Further combat use 
was seen by the Pakistani Air Force during the Indo-Pakistani War in 1965 and the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. In 1983, the US Air Force opted to retire the TAP. The B-57 Canberra's retirement marked the ending of the era of tactical bomber. The three remaining flight-worthy WB-57F are technically assigned to the NASA Jones Space Center, next to the Ellington Field in Houston, as high-altitude scientific research aircraft, but have also been used for testing and electronic communications in the U.S. and Afghanistan. My video about the B-57 answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.